G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back. Time for part number two of my Swamp Board build. Uh, if you missed out on the first part, you can check that out here. I'd basically gotten to the stage where it was time to start putting tufts and reeds and pouring resin onto my board. So let's jump in. I'm using a wooden board, so I'm able to drill into my board and plant these types of reeds on the board. These were very easy to make. I um, made a tutorial on how to make these reeds and you can check that out here. Uh, basically using a straw broom that had like these weird ends on the end of the bristles. Um, and it worked so beautifully, you know, a little bit of glue, some flock, um, you know, lovely, lovely tufts, very uh, easy to make. So I can plant those into my boards just by drilling uh, some holes in and, uh, you know, pushing them in. Switching out my drill bit here for the next type of reed I want to put on these boards. And these are basically made from the bristles of scrubbing brushes. Basically just taking some clumps of them and twisting them up and pushing them into the holes on my board. If you're using a different type of board, foam or something, you know, just push a pencil or something big enough to push clumps of these in. There's that scrubbing brush. Now this is a scrubbing brush, you know, and with natural material. Just a matter of pulling off some of those uh, um, bristles and removing the little metal ring that holds them all together and then pulling off uh, a couple of little sections and pushing them into the board. Now, I've done tutorials on using uh, scrubbing brushes in the past. Uh, in, uh, in those tutorials, I used nylon bristles. Now, nylon doesn't take paint very well, so this time I specifically looked for a brush that had uh, natural, uh, was made from natural materials. Uh, so hopefully it would have taken the paint a little bit better, or at least that was my thinking. And uh, it did, it worked out really, really well. Uh, I was very, very happy with that. Um, so these are super, again, super easy. You know, it's just time consuming, drilling, you know, a hundred odd holes on the table. Um, and then trim them down with some little scissors. You know, I like to make sure that my uh, reeds are all different heights. And so in each stand, I clip off little tiny sections uh, to make sure that there's some variation uh, across the board. We go now i'm using a brown paint here this is um just a regular wall house paint i thin it down quite a lot with some water and apply this to those uh reeds and the paint has taken really really well uh it's been on there for a, you know more than a week now and i haven't had any problems with it. it it worked out great quick vacuum because obviously trimming those reeds has uh you know ended up with bristles all over the table and it's time to start planting some tufts now I've got loads of different sorts of tufts. I've been collecting them over the years. We bought a whole stack at a show a con a convention a couple of years ago. And you know, I'm just dipping them in some PVA and popping them on the table. I'm not concerned about that big blob of PVA that's gonna dry it on the table. Uh, you know, in, in the grand scheme of things, it's gonna be uh, relatively irrelevant. You know, you're not really gonna see it. I just go ahead, I'm not paying any attention to any sort of colors or anything. I do find some swamp tufts at some point and start applying those to the board as well. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, I just want to get tufts on the table. I really don't care what type of tufts they are. The resin I'm using here, I'll come back to that in a second. The resin I'm using here is something I've used in the past. It's been rebranded and is no longer available from Bunnings. Bunnings here in Australia, are our big hardware store where you go on the weekend to get your sausage and buy your crap. Um, they used to sell a product called Glass Coat, which is a two-part uh, resin, which, Predominantly was used, or, or I, you know, assume it was used by furniture makers to put like a glossy coat on tables and stuff, and um, and it was called glass coat, uh, but it's no longer available from Bunnings. I haven't had it for a while. So this stuff, it's the same product, just with a different name. I don't know where this came from. I picked up some stuff from Spotlight uh, towards the end of this project because I ran out. Um, but anyway, you know, it's two parts, you know, normally by volume, I do it by weight, I couldn't care less. I'm a rebel and, um, you know, mix a little bit of paint into this, just a little bit. You'll see I, I take that paddle pop stick, stick, dunk it in the paint and then swirl it in and pour it into the holes on my table. Now this stuff will level itself out, uh, but, you know, I do encourage it, uh, you know, it, in different sorts of places to make sure that it gets where I need it to go. But it's a super simple process, you mix up those two parts, pour it into the board and um, and then just let it set overnight. See, it couldn't be easier. Now I'm using a, an old brush, sacrificial brush, and I'm just soaping, you know, taking out the excess paint in those cups and just brushing it around randomly on the dirt patches on the board to help give the table a little bit of, you know, glossy wetness. 
in certain areas and i think the tables come up you know great and you know it it looks wonderful it you know the couple of games that scott and i have played on it it plays really nicely uh there you know it was it was a good fun project uh i'm not sure what else i'll add to this table you know i'll probably do some dead trees and stuff that you can move around and put in different sorts of places but um you know we've used it for strategy battle game middle earth strategy battle game and it worked very well scott's elves versus my isengard you know he was playing lothlorien lothlorien i can't remember what but you know shooting elves bows everywhere and you know there was enough cover on the board with those rocks that were there for the game to be enjoyable and those big pools made it difficult to move around without having to take swamp tests uh swim tests and all that sort of stuff but anyway I'm rambling it was great fun good project uh can't wait to build more boards and uh you know it's something that uh gonna find more time to do because it was great fun thanks for tuning in i hope you're all keeping well i'll catch you next time there you